temperature and enzyme activity experiment. The aim is to test the effect of increased temperature on the activity of the enzyme catalase. Materials needed include the electric kettle, hot plate, 100 milliliter hydrogen peroxide, four large beakers, four 50 milliliter measuring cylinders, four test tubes, a test tube rack, four thermometers, a cork borer, a marking pen, water, ice, a stopwatch, ruler, four cylinders of fresh raw peeled potatoes, one 10 milliliter measuring cylinder and liquid soap. Step one. Prepare water baths by mixing different amounts of tap water, boiling water and ice water into large beakers to give one of each temperature. Heat each water bath to the relevant temperatures seen in this table. Step 2. Take four test tubes and label them 1 to 4, representing the appropriate temperatures. Step 3. Place 20 milliliters of water into each test tube, then place each into the appropriate water bath. Insert a thermometer into each test tube and wait until the water in each boiling tube reaches the required temperature. Step 4. Using a cork borer, prepare four cylinders of potato with the same diameter and four centimeters long. Slice each potato cylinder into four parts. Remember, the potato is the source of the enzyme catalase. Step 5. When the tubes have reached the required temperature, add four slices of potato to each boiling tube and keep them at the appropriate temperatures for 10 to 15 minutes. Do not add enzyme to the control test tube. Step 6. When you are ready to add the potato, prepare four 50 milliliters me measuring cylinders with substrate. 20 milliliters hydrogen peroxide in each and number them 1 to 4. Minimize their exposure to air before adding the enzyme potatoes. Step 7. Add a drop of liquid soap to each measuring cylinder. Step 8. To transfer the potato pieces to the four measuring cylinders of substrate, first tip out the water of each test tube. Ensure you remove as much water as possible. Step 9. Transfer the potato pieces from each test tube into the appropriate measure, measuring cylinder of hydrogen peroxide. Step 10. Observe the reaction in each measuring cylinder. Carefully measure the height of bubbles that form after 30 seconds and record the result in the table in your OneNote. Now complete the discussion questions on your OneNote. Thank you.